How's it going, folks? So it is definitely time to discuss some Democrat double standards. I know in a previous video, um, in regards to Hulu not airing political ads, uh, the Democrats framed it as them being censored, even though I guarantee you Republican ads favoring gun rights aren't going to be aired on Hulu either. You notice how they didn't mention that part. But nonetheless... The Democrats are up in arms that a publisher isn't taking their side. Unfortunately, this is not the only double standard that Democrats want. The Democrats want the deck stacked in their favor. And that should tell you something about the Democrats. Now, with this being said, I'm not a fan of the Republicans either. There are a lot of dumb things the Republicans do. Uh, there are a lot of times the Republicans are in the right to push an issue but don't. And a lot of the times, the Republicans push on issues that they probably shouldn't push on. However, needless to say, I am absolutely tired of the Democrats' blatant double standards in general. Let's talk about, say, abortion for one sec, uh, namely the comments that Matt Gates made in regards to the abortion activists that are out there protesting. Uh, I believe he referred to them as fat and ugly or something like that. Well, now with that being said, you had the Democrats, the left, up in arms about those comments that Matt Gates had. But I guarantee you, all these people. Out of all these people who are screaming about Matt Gates' comments, I bet you could throw a rock in the crowd and there's a good chance that you hit somebody who probably multiple times in their lives sat there and said, well, these gun owners have small penises. These people who have AR-15s are compensating for small willies. And yet you didn't hear a peep from the national news media saying, oh, wait, maybe that's a baseless comment. Oh, wait, maybe, you know, that's a low political argument. You know, maybe that's, you know, insulting your opposition and maybe we should try to stick to having a civil discussion. No, this never happened. But needless to say, you have several media outlets that will get up all in arms when, you know, somebody like Matt Gates uh, accuses these abortion activists of being unattractive and ugly. So with that being said, I, I don't have much sympathy for them on this. If you want to have a civil discussion on these topics... Well, many of these abortion activists had several chances. Many of these gun control activists had several chances, but yet chose not to. You know, and it's not just their name calling, but it's their blocking on social media. It's their calls for censorship of their opposition, which they do quite frequently. You know, uh, namely, you know, uh, I got banned from Reddit. About a week ago, I got falsely accused of calling for violence. Um, and unfortunately, Reddit's admins don't actually read the posts, I guess, before they just blindly accept the results. It looks like they just blindly accept the report, carte blanche. Yeah, you'd have never guessed my comment was, well in regards to somebody letting the media dictate their state of fear all the time and me telling them good enjoy being miserable you know because you want to let the media dictate to you to live in fear basically what i said somehow in the admins of reddit size that's called a violence i don't see how but my bet is they don't 
think it's a call to violence either. Um, these people are just feral leftists, and since I'm not on their side, uh, well, it's perfectly okay for them to ban me. So, again, another example of double standards from the Democrats and the progressives in general. So, that being said, I'm going to end this here. I wanted to put out a second video when I had the chance on this topic. I know it's a few minutes after, but um, you guys got the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all take it easy out there and have a great day.